today I'm here. Good day. It's been a while since I haven't put out a video. Again, it's been a while since I haven't put out a video. So once again, this is real sports star with Andy Nelson. Real thing. And while I was not active or not saying anything, doesn't mean I wasn't doing anything. Now, my absence was deliberate because I want to see all of these people that love to talk, what ideas they have. Because a lot of them have been piggybacking on my ideas. Yes, on my ideas. I can say that. Now, there's a lot of fanfare and a lot of talks. I mean, just talks. Just basically talks. I only say things when I have facts. And as a coach, I look out for the interests of the athletes. And my duty is to make sure that the athletes succeed, not for my personal goal. Because guess what? I've coached my children to many titles. Just the season I finished, I coached my daughter to several titles, even to two national titles in the United States of America. Right? And I'm a humble man. To become the champion in the United States of America is not an easy task. It's not something with Diana where you have like about 20 to 30 athletes. It's a big task. So I have coached my kids then to several titles. Melrose, you name it, several titles. They haven't been a title. And I've coached my kids to titles ranging from the 5th to 5 meter right up to 1500 meter. From the 5th to 5 meter right up to the 1500 meter. So, I have variation, variation. So my records speak for itself. So I'm not here to boast, but I'm here to set the record straight. Now, I listen to a voice note of a particular coach, and it saddened me to see that this coach goes around the place and talk about God, 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 and keep church and all of these things and for them for the evil things that comes out of his mouth. It's sad. It is also sad that a coach can wish so bad on some of these athletes that are in Jamaica. That's a sad state. Real, real sad. And I have to address it. And I'm telling you, man, just remember my parents always used to say one thing. You don't throw stones when you live in a glass house. So I want you to remember that all of these kids that you're wishing all of these evil things to happen to them for your own benefits, and all of these children that you're going around slandering their names without no facts, right? I'm going to tell you, right? The father... It's going to help these children. I'm going to make sure that these children, right, become God-fearing children and appreciate the help and, the, and also the assistance and opportunity that they got. Because guess what? The children are in Jamaica right now, and the training that you guys give them is nothing close to what they are accustomed to. So let me just, let me just say, that, say, say, say that right there. The kids there are in Jamaica training, and the training that you think that is good is not even a warm-up. Let me explain that to you. So all of this big, big talk about, about you're going to, at least from Jamaica, what you're going to destroy, listen, that's thoughts. You know how hard it is to run under 10 seconds. You think it's just get up and run? You think it's like that. There is so much more to trying to run under 10 seconds. Archibald is a prime example. Archibald is working his butt off. Coaching with one of my friends right now because he changed coaches. Trying to get that soft 10 seconds. 
And Archibald is a workaholic. And you want to big up your chest and say that how oh, when you done with attitude and well, you know what? I'm just addressing the situation because I spoke to that Chris person after listening to the voicemail. And it is ridiculous. And all of you would join up with this coach. You who join up with this coach, boy, I tell you no man. It hurt my heart. But every one of y'all got to remember, I'm the brainchild behind all of this. I'm the one that came to Diana, and I'm the one that start all of this with both of y'all. So y'all don't behave as if y'all starting something. Because I sit on and give y'all the program. So all of this thing what you guys talking about is I start y'all off with a program. Y'all never had a program. It's a broad rule. I wrote out a program and give it to you guys. But what hurt my heart is the things you are saying about these athletes. The wishes that you are wishing for these athletes to fail, that is what hurts me. You can talk all you want to talk about me. I could care less because you, none of you guys have nothing on me. None of you guys have nothing. Nothing what you are talking about me is factual, so I really don't care. I could care less because nothing with you guys talking is factual. Nothing. Because you guys don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know. You, you don't, there's a lot of things about me that you don't know. And it's deliberate because I keep it away from you guys because you just feed you with one arm and then you know me. You, you just know what's going to come out of the next month. month. I know what's going to come. I feed you everything for me because I want to know what's coming behind the month. For you who say you're a man of God and talking about George, people George showing is loose, is disrespectful. You're a coach. There's no ethics to coaching. You as a coach that telling young ladies about who will bake the belly and go, they a close clip. And you're a coach and a man of God and saying those things. How? How you're a coach and a man of God and saying that all them loose and them, them like close clip, they just squeeze them at the head open. And you're a man of God. And you got girl children. And that's how you talking about people, girl children. Really? Seriously? So, you think by bigging up your chest and saying that oh, not even Archibald is going to run under 10 seconds. So like, you're the man above. So you know what Archibald can do. And you know what no other athlete can do but you. I wish you well, man. I wish you well. I always wish you guys well. You know the reason why? Because this hearty, I, I, I work hard. And anybody who knows me know how hard I work. I don't need to prove nothing to you guys. Nothing. Because everything what I'm doing, I'm doing from my heart. I got my co-workers and I got people that helps me. People that I can pick up the phone and ask for help and they help me because they know I'm true to what I am doing. But I had to do this video because you as a coach, one of these days, I'm going to reach you in Diana face to face. But I want us to reach on a national television. Or I want us to meet on a radio station that I can that I can confront you with your evil and wicked ways. That's what I want. I want to see you with your face. You running down the teacher that helped these children. You know how that woman worked hard to help these children pass their CXC. Something that you wish they failed. Something that you tried to sabotage. And bear in mind, they get a one in physical education that you taught and you think you're going to fail them. They get a grade one in physical education. And you running down this teacher that put her heart and soul out. Look the other day. How much money you want to charge the schools for marker ground? That's why the teachers call me. 
and I send somebody and pay for a mark the ground that they can keep in the house. Look how much money you wanted to charge the teachers them for in the schools. And you're a man of God. You're a, and guess what? The tracking even right. Instead of a hundred meters, you mark eight meters. You got a children running eight to five, ninety meters for hundred meters. I mark on that ground. And we we barely get a four. We get a three hundred meters. We have to go around the goalpost. I mark, I developed that ground. Lose it now, ground, I developed that ground. I put a long jump in there and I grow it down and develop that ground. And for us to get a 300 meter track, we have to, we have to level and go beyond the goalposts. And you want to mark a ground that is just about 240 meters and call it 300 meters and all of this nonsense. When I set a professional to mark the ground to get it correct, he couldn't even get 100 meters for the distance. He got 96 meters. And you, you ridicule that man. But it's me, the teachers reach out to and you going around the place to ridicule this woman. Really? And you got grandchildren? And you're a man of God? I do these things for the school for free. For free. You're really killing people, girl, children are wishing bad upon them because why? The parents didn't listen to you and they send give their children an opportunity to get a better education and a crap. If one of the best countries in the world to go on, they get the best. There's no other country in the world that an athlete can get the best training and education. No third world country, no country in the Caribbean that an athlete can get the best training and education like Jamaica. No other country. Every country in the Caribbean send their athletes to Jamaica. At Corifty Games gone, almost all the athletes them that compete at Corifty Games were going to school in Jamaica. They were from Jamaica. So what you were talking about and all of these really killing these children, I wish you well. But it hurts my heart. Really, really hurts my heart to hear how you hurts me to hear how you behave. I'm telling you. So I have to do this with you. I really do. And I'm going to say this to you. Life is a cycle. Be careful. Be very, very careful of what you do in life. Because it's going to come back to you. What goes around, comes around. And remember, you live in a glass house, don't you so. But it is wrong for you to wish these bad for these children. And wishing that evil things can happen to them. Really? And you're a coach wishing for evil things to happen to these children? Evil? Seriously? But the two of y'all, remember, both of y'all are your children. And y'all are wishing bad on people your children. Remember that? Eh? Both of y'all are your children. And y'all are wishing bad on other people your children. But you know what? You can help any man about I'm going to get stronger and I'm going to be able to help these athletes. And mark my words, prayer changes things. So none of your evil thoughts and evil words can hold me down. I'm going to leave it there. Yes, I'm going to leave it there.